why can't I focus? Come on, get it together. I was officially diagnosed with ADHD this year and it just kind of had me thinking about all the ways ADHD has affected my business. I have spent a lot of time thinking, do I have ADHD? Is everyone like this? There have been so many moments where I have just gotten mad at myself for not being better. Well, let me just stop that thought right there. My ADHD doesn't make me a failure. It just gives me different challenges. The area you live in is gonna have different challenges in the area I live in, your personal situation, whether you have kids or you don't, whether you have a spouse or you don't, all these factors contribute to the challenges you go through and everyone faces challenges. And I think it can be so easy to just think my challenge is so big when really we're all going through something, you know? So first of all, stop comparing yourself to others. This is a mini heart to heart to you, but also to me. You can't compare your situation to anyone else's, not even your siblings, not even someone who has a lot of the same factors as you. Everyone journey is different and everyone's circumstances are different so you can never compare yourself to anyone else because it's not going to get you anywhere do i actually do this or am i just thinking that i have adhd so now i'm like manifesting those things i have really struggled with my business in the last like couple of years and i had a full-time job and once once i didn't have unlimited time to do everything i needed to do and i started having more and more limits on my time for my business i started struggling more and more so when i had all the time in the world to do whatever i wanted i wasn't really seeing the effects of oh, you're not actually getting work done. Editing Jordan here. I am not making sense in this, but basically what I'm trying to say is that when I had all the time in the world, I didn't really know that I had ADHD. I knew that I always struggled with focusing in like college and whatnot, but I didn't really know that I had ADHD per se because I wasn't really seeing the repercussions of it as much. What I'm picturing is life back in 2019 when my husband was in the military. I was across the country from every one I knew, my entire family, everything. I hated where we lived. There was nothing to do outside of the house. Like it was a very isolating time in our life, but also that meant I had so much time to work on my business that I didn't ever notice that it wasn't actually being super productive. I was taking like three hours to do a task that should have been 30 minutes or something, but because I was getting so distracted and getting off on tangents, it was taking me longer, but well, at the end of the day, I still got it done. So I just never really was top of my mind that maybe I had ADHD because I was like, well, I'm still getting stuff done. So it wasn't really something I was thinking of. I just think it's gotten a lot worse. Maybe it's just gotten a lot more noticeable because of my time constraint and having to be more intentional with time makes me realize how much of a struggle some things are for me. So that's what I'm trying to say here. Today, I wanted to talk about some of the ways ADHD has affected my business, both good and bad. So I'm just gonna start off with the most obvious is that I really struggle to stay focused on anything. I have found that walking on the treadmill or walking on the walking pad definitely helps me stay focused on a task that's more monotonous or I just am really struggling to focus. If I'm feeling like really anxious and like I just need to move, I will walk on the walking pad. That definitely helps to an extent because as soon as I start getting sweaty, I'm like, nope, that's all I can think about is that I'm so hot, I need to get off this. And then all the focus is gone because I am so aware of how uncomfortable I am. One thing I really like to do when I'm walking is writing emails or scripting videos or anything where I I can just type that definitely helps talking out loud helps me a lot too but i don't know if that's an adhd thing or just a me thing but talking helps me kind of stay focused on the writing part of things i have days where i'm just so like I can feel it, like I just need to like move. Even if I don't actually get any work done, I walked for 30 minutes or longer, so that's healthy. But I also just feel like I accomplished something. So at the end of the day, if I didn't do anything, I can at least remember that I walked for 30 minutes and that kind of feels like a win. Another huge struggle for me is starting tasks, whether that's for work or like chores or anything. Like if I let myself think too much, I won't do it. That's kind of how I let myself work out or go on walks or anything like that is if I just 
start doing it and not even think about the act of getting ready to start it, if that makes sense. It's easier said than done, for sure. If I can just erase the thinking part of it of, okay, first I gotta do this and I gotta do this and this, 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 this. I'm never gonna do it. So I have to kind of just like stop that train of thought and just get started. It's so hard though. <laughs> Another hard thing is that I never feel accomplished and I never feel like I'm getting anything done. Part of that's because I forget all the things I do in a day. Another part is that I feel like there's always something more to do. I'm always thinking about the to-do list and I'm always thinking about what's next, what's next, what's next. If you cross one thing off the list, but you still are thinking about 30 other things you need to do, you don't feel like you did anything. And that list is always growing. And so it's hard to ever feel like you're getting anything done. It's great if I have a planner and I'm writing things down. That works sometimes, other times it doesn't. It's nice when I can see everything crossed off and then if I don't get anything done, then it kind of makes things worse because then I see all the things I didn't do and it stresses me out because I didn't do it. So that's a huge thing. It's always me stressed about other things that need to get done. One thing I'm really good at is starting a project and then forgetting I started the project. It probably stems from working on the project and then something more exciting comes along and I start that and then forget about this. I have so many design files that I've gone through and been like, I never did anything with these designs. I didn't finish these patterns or just there's so many things. I kind of think that I also struggle with like the fear of failure and the fear of like putting something out there, no one wanting it or buying it. And so that kind of makes me stop personal life things happen and that makes me get distracted and then a week or two later I come back and I totally forgot or I have new ideas so it's like this cycle of there's always something new and then you forget. <laughs> a pro to ADHD I believe is that I can really research. I enjoy learning new things and I enjoy finding answers and researching things. The issue is when you get stuck in the research phase and you never do anything with that. It's really fun to find a new hobby and research it and buy something for yourself and then never do anything with it because the fun was the research and buying. That is one way that can be a con. But overall, I think it definitely helps. I've seen it help myself in work environments because I would need to go find something and that wouldn't get me down or like stress me out. One thing I'm starting is I want to start getting back into art licensing and thinking about that and I did research for this back in 2018 and 2019. I took classes and I never did anything with it for over five years. Back to thinking about it again and I'm getting really excited about it because I'm researching so much and I'm learning new things and I'm just hoping that I don't fall off and waste all this time, especially because I'm creating a series for it. I don't want to embarrass myself. So that's kind of, I think, subconsciously the reason why I want to make the series is so that I have to keep going with it because it is something I really want to do. Anyways, that's kind of a tangent, but yeah, I love researching new things and learning. It just can also be a con because you can stay in that research phase forever and never get out of it because starting a task is hard and not being good at something from the beginning is hard. Like being bad at stuff is so easy <laughs> for me to give up. If I can't do it perfect the first time, I really, really struggle with working through that and trying again because that dopamine or whatever it is didn't happen. And so having to start all, all over is kind of very frustrating actually. <laughs> Another pro is the magical hyper focus. This can happen once in a blue moon. In my experience, I can't predict when it's gonna happen and I can't tell you certain things cause it. I remember a former boss of mine asked me if I ever get hyperfixations and if it stemmed from any one type of thing. And I had to tell him, I was like, no, it happens when it happens. Sometimes when I'm creating something I'm really excited about, it can happen. But other times, like creating SVGs, I can get, it's it's like a 50-50 chance. Well, it's like a 60-40 chance, maybe even lower than that. On if I'm gonna get super sucked into the work or it's gonna feel like the most draining, boring work ever. Like you just don't know what you're gonna get each day, which can make things difficult. But when it does happen, it is wonderful. It is wonderful to be like, yes, I'm getting so much done and things are not distracting me like they normally would. The first time I ever had espresso, I was on top of the world. I felt like someone who didn't have ADHD, it was magical, it was wonderful. Things that normally would distract me didn't. Most of the time, if my husband's home and he asks me a question, it will turn into me going over and walking over 
over to him, seeing something, being like, oh yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom, or oh yeah, I'm hungry, I need to fill up my water, and then I go out in the kitchen, and I see something that needs to be picked up. If you have ADHD, you know where I'm going with this. 30 minutes later, I get back to work. Either I don't remember what I was doing, I don't feel like working on what I was doing, and it's like this frustrating thing where he's just asking me an innocent yes or no question, and it can be a 30 minute ordeal. But when I had espresso the first few times, I answered that question and I went right back to work. And I'm like, this is how it should be. I feel like this is how it is for people without ADHD. Maybe it's not, but I just wish that was me all the time. So I do kind of get envious <laughs> that my husband can do that and I can't. So no, I can't plan on being hyper-focused. I wish I could know when or why it happens. I think it takes the right environment, the right type of day, the right type of mood, all those things, and then also being interested in whatever task. So a lot of factors at play and they always change. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, I went and looked up on Google some positive traits of ADHD and most of them do not apply to me. They said things like, you have a lot of energy. No, I don't, what energy? I think too much. I'm just, that's not me at all. <laughs> Apparently being flexible is an ADHD positive trait because we're constantly thinking about all the outcomes and we're more flexible because we already kind of prepared ourselves. I think that's anxiety though. I don't think that's ADHD. I think that's anxiety and being anxious of all these different things that could happen. So you want to prepare yourself so that you know how to react in each situation. That sounds more like anxiety, but I could be wrong. So I don't think that's an ADHD positive thing for me. Editing Jordan back again. I thought of another pro well, I'm editing this. One, I love to edit videos. That is a huge pro for me. My ADHD lets me focus on this and I get fixated on all the little things you can do. I also think that having ADHD makes me better at being conscious of attention spans. I mean, everyone likes different things, so my attention span can be longer on certain subjects and other things. I think having ADHD helps me really condense things down, especially in TikToks where you need to be under a minute. I can definitely kind of see where things are starting to get boring or too long. And then with YouTube videos, for the most part, I like to add some effects and something visually interesting so that you will want to watch the whole thing and not get bored. So hopefully I'm doing a good job with that. I definitely think the ADHD helps that aspect of things. So overall, I think ADHD is kind of a negative in my life right now. I'm really just wishing I was better at a lot of things, I guess is the way to put it. If you have ADHD and you have a small business, I hope this made you feel like you're not the only one struggling. We are all struggling in some way. No one's ever alone in that. Our challenges may be different, but we can all relate to someone else's experience in some way. If you have ADHD and you wanna chat, I'd love to talk to you about all the challenges or struggles you're going through, or maybe even some of the positives. Like, I know this is kind of a Debbie Downer type of video, but maybe some of you guys have better experiences and positive outlooks on it that you could share in the comments. I'd love to hear that. But that's all I have for today. So I will see you next time. Bye.